Let me start the webinar. Salut Emmanuel, peut-on commencer le webinaire Tu es là Oui, mais on peut laisser les, les, les participants entrer dans la salle Ils sont euh, déjà ben, ils, Oui, ils sont déjà là, il y a 10 participants. Oui. And can we start the recording? I Et start the recording from the Montgomery Blair Room. With All right, great. Okay. All right, so welcome everyone. Good morning, um, good afternoon, and good evening. So, for wherever you are in the world, uh, my name is Tracy Hackshaw. I am the dot post um, business manager um, working in the Universal Postal Union. Um, along with me today is my colleague, Mason Sebra, who is also from the Dot Post Business Management Unit. Hello, Mason, how are you? And today we are um, in the middle of our Dot Post Member Showcase, part of our webinar series um, for this, this 2023 period. And today we'll be presenting or hosting, facilitating um, one of our newer members, Ethio Post, uh, from Ethiopia, and they uh, have been using Dot Post for I think just about half a year, maybe. Um, we met with them actually last year in Ethiopia, and they gave us a nice rundown of their plans. And I'm actually happy to see that they are implementing all of those plans. That's really, really great to see um, a post who has been um, heavily involved in um, with dot post and actually using it and implementing their plans and doing quite well. Um, so as you would have uh, probably gotten from our invitation, this is a two part webinar. Today we are going to be focusing on the business side of the of the uh, discussion. Um, and tomorrow we'll be doing a technical deep dive so just to make sure you set your expectations exactly as they should be. Um, so presenting today is Mr. Ibrahim Kadil. He is the Chief Information Officer at ECO Post. Um, what a wonderful individual I, as I met with him. He was really, really um, extremely um, helpful and uh, willing to share the plans and um, I'm it's fantastic to see a post um, actually implementing what they say they're doing. So it's really, really good to see this and, and doing such great work. So we're happy to have Ibrahim with us today um, to, um, you know, to share some of the ideas and what they're thinking about doing as ETO Post, which is, if not the largest, one of the largest posts in Africa um, on the continent and certainly um, can compete with some of those um, huge players around the world as well. You know, some of the, the huge posts that you would um, be well aware of around the world from the, um, the North American and European and, and Asian areas. So it's really great to see a, a post from Africa doing such good work in this, in this space, uh, especially in the digital space. So um, I'm hopeful as I as I wait to ensure that we get all of our attendees to join, um, that you will enjoy today's presentation. And yes, we, it will be recorded and shared with those who are uh, who registered. So for those who are asking that um, that question, yes, it will be recorded and shared. Um, so, without further ado, let me um, begin by um, welcoming Ibrahim to the to the floor. And um, you bring over to you, uh, or just before you begin, just to let you know how the questions will begin, will, will roll. Um, for those who are familiar with our process, we don't normally take questions verbally. Um, so we ask that you put questions in the Q&A pod, which is at the bottom and most, most, screen, most of your Zoom screens. It's called Q&A. Q &A. Um, <clears throat> and... Uh, if you if you happen to use the chat, please ensure the questions are to everyone, and that you um, make it in the form of a question. 
but feel free to put comments and so on in the chat as you see fit. Feel free to introduce yourselves, say who you are, where you're from, um, let people know, you know, who, who's here. And um, yes, let's have a good session today. So again, back to you, Abraham. Let's go. Thank uh, you. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to express my appreciation for the dot post groups, including UPO staffs, to uh, present our experience for the rest of the world on the postal industry and every activity of ETO Post. My name is Ibrahim Kader. I'm uh, Chief Ec Information uh, Officer uh, since from two, uh, I mean, one year ago in, here in Ethiopia Post. So today I'm just explaining the operational part and uh, experience of uh, the ETO Post. So uh, the, our discussions or today discussions mainly focus on today and the operational, high level operational activity of ETO Post. And tomorrow I will express and uh, present the, the dog Post's technical parts of uh, our experience. So let's go to my today presentations. Uh, my presentation titled on the deep tone and diversify using the dog Post. So uh, mostly our uh, just the three or the past three uh, strategies uh, mainly focus on deepen and diversified postal service uh, into the country wide and the continental and global wide. So my agenda only mainly focused on introductions and milestones, the product profiles, reforms and achievements and corporate strategy. Also digital investment, what we do in the last three years and future, what's uh, the future plan of our uh, information technology and others uh, plan. So first of all, I would like to just uh, introduce my country. You know, my country is found in the, uh, the Horn of Africa. I think most of you know, where is Ethiopia? Ethiopia is uh, the, the origin of human beings, you know, that where you'll refer the Ethiopia, what's Ethiopia? And uh, it's uh, the second population, uh, populous countries over the uh, globe, I mean, uh, over the continent, Africa, sorry. So the basis of uh, Africa Union Commissions and the many uh, uh, international organizations uh, found, found here in Ethiopia. So. Uh, as a, a whole, ETO posts also have, uh, I think, the, the 700 branches in, in, over the country, uh, 700 and above. I think the, uh, the franchising also increased time to time about 600, 500. Uh, also, we ETO post have uh, more than 2,200 employees and uh, 300 fleets inside in the Ethiopia for operational services. Let me just explain where have we have been and today in the, the future. As uh, just shown in the slide, the, the origins of, of, uh, of organizations starting from 1894, 1894 is, uh, which is Ethiopia Postal Service established uh, years and then the next November one Ethiopia uh, Post to become the member of uh, UPU, which is uh, 1908. Uh, the 1986 started bus logistics and service. Many services have been uh, started in the UPU Post, uh, other than the postal services. Uh, we just diversified our service and uh, started financial and retail service on the 1987. On the 1988, the starting express mail. AMS, uh, just uh, we have uh, many routes on the AMS over the wallet and we're uh, good level and amazing our level of standard and quality of service have time to time. And, and now 2017, it started passport and visa the, the delivery service, which is our service become just diversified and uh, increased time to time. In 2021, we have launched e-commerce and uh, just uh, we have started the ETO post.host uh, post membership. So we, we increased our 
services time to time, day to day. So we should have to uh, increase our reachability. On, on points of the postal, um, the postal services are uh, just, we have a postal mail, express mail, logistic mail, financial service, postal shop, government services. These are our products profile, which is uh, reaches to reach our customer in the local, the global and the international level. On the preview of the, our performance, we have uh, just 5.4 uh, total package in the past two years to, uh, to, here to reach our customer. 1.5 million express package. Domestic uh, destination also uh, increased time to time, and uh, we got above 115 and plus. Uh, international destination also, 170 countries on the internet, we have a dest destination uh, place. On the past two years, we have uh, 500,000 passports also distributed for the citizens and the international community. And the 1.5 million also health sample also delivered for the customer. We have also just implement or uh, acquire 350 million financial transactions in the past three years. Also, we, uh, as I uh, explained, postal mails also de delivers uh, the letter, post, the small packets, parcel on the mail rental on the postal products. Uh, as you know, the postal uh, organization should find, uh, find the financial services product or should provide financial services to diversify their products. And uh, we implemented bulk payment to the international organization as well as the local organization, uh, we have uh, the financial services. As I told you that uh, the MA service also, our products which implemented and uh, what we uh, brand name. Express means also the, uh, as I told you, uh, the, pre the, the the premium and the fastest, the, the delivery of the document and parcel in last miles and delivers. The other parts of uh, what we have started in the 2021 uh, e-service, which is e postal shops, and then we have uh, retail of the third-party stocks. So we have uh, the as uh, if you have uh, just re review or visit our uh, website, just uh, we have mobile different e-shops, and uh, we have only uh, the physical uh, retail service of in the counter areas and distributions and sales. On the other service of our product is uh, basically on the logistics. The logistics service also provides the passenger transports for, for uh, the inside, the local passengers and moving uh, services, healthcare, logistics, and uh, other logistic service also uh, just acquired in this year. And we expand our service for our customer. On the flat daily, uh, we have uh, Aval, the Philatelic Museum inside in the headquarter, and uh, just uh, providing the digital Philatelic service on our website. So uh, we we just provide the what we are, what we have, what we have been, and what will future to uh, the countries, the globe, and the other uh, and uh, continental level. The other product of uh, our organization is uh, basically on the governmental service. Governmental services, the basic product of our uh, services, such like uh, reference services, the national ID service, and other uh, related to governmental organization service have been just acquired. The passport service also a governmental service, thus uh, just categorized in the governmental service products. So what's the economical, sorry, what the economical uh, achievement uh, for the past three years in the, our uh, postal organization? In these cases, we offer a competitive services. Just uh, the past years, we have innovative uh, strategy. We, we design a strategy for uh, reform our organizations to be competitive and uh, provide quality of service for 
our the citizens, the international community. So we offer competitive service that was the first achievement. And the second achievement, we secured firm the financial standing. So our financial standing to increase time to time because as a postal organization should be capable with the financial ability. So we should have to design the strategy to increase our security of financial standing. So we incur the, our finance and secured our finance. Also our revenue just increased time to time. Uh, opt we also acquire and uh, achieve optimized resources. So we have a number of resources in the, our organization, including uh, uh, just uh, the building resources and the moving resources. Many resources should be just optimized to use and to uh, input for our product and services. So build in this in institutional capacity, the other uh, achievement, which is in institutional capacity should be uh, just uh, develop uh, will be, should be developed and uh, um, just should we have uh, implemented the different strategy to develop our institutional capacity so uh, the capacity should be capable to today or the globalization or globalization in cap uh, capability of the uh, postal industry so we have built institutional capacity so in this uh, achievement, uh, we have improved mail security. Uh, most of uh, our quality of service measured by our mail security. So our mail security uh, just accept and deliver in the secure manner and a remarkable improvement of mail speed. International outgoing for uh, an instance, international outgoing is uh, just seven to uh, decrease to one days. Uh, before that, it's uh, it takes seven days and uh, decrease to one days because of our security, uh, the quality of service and implemented uh, strategy. The MS also uh, on the, the time delivery of 98% our MS will deliver for the expected customer or part. So when you're showing the, uh, the increase in international MS and uh, revenue and uh, when you were showing the presentation uh, slide, uh, above 45% uh, of the MS vol uh, volumes increase year to year, you know. Uh, the, our revenue also increased 41% uh, the year to year because, because of our strategy and other uh, capacity building, including the capacity building from UQ uh, just as a member. So, in, in the in, uh, uh, overall, overall, 84 percent in 2020, our rank is uh, 84, 84 uh, rank. So it's uh, increased to uh, 20, 2178 uh, ranked, and uh, where we just come to a good uh, standing on the six days. Uh, 2021. So reliability and catch up will start on the 2022, and uh, we have got the bonus on the seven. I mean, 35 percent bonus from the PMS. So the AMS uh, service of our quality shall just uh, standard and our rank is on the come to from the Paris to come to the good performance on the as you see on the 2020 uh, to 2022, because 2021 70s, and we come and uh, we apply on the different strategy, our rank should be just come to good and good performer of 2022. Very nice. So what's uh, our strategy? What's uh, our uh, just uh, the deepened and the diversified uh, products? So, in this case, what means deepen? What means diversified? So, when we are saying the deepen, expanding our network and reaching us and re to reachable our product and service to our customers, international levels. So, in this case, the, we, we have, the first thing is what we done is uh, build our capability and deploy new systems, because as a postal, as to be competitive postal organization. We should have to design and build a new, reform it, and uh, 
qualified coastal organisms. So in this case, we should have to just design our strategy, redesign our strategy uh, for the three, strat three years strategy. We build capacity for our organization's employees and uh, stakeholders. So we should have to just acquire every act service activities so to be uh, increase our, our, our revenue. In this case, we have done different uh, activities on the different strategy. So the, the diversify should be just one coastal organ should, uh, service should be diversified. Without diversification, our existence should not be just uh, acquired. In this case, our organization just uh, the government service provider. So in the government service provider, we acquire different government services. So we should have to reach for the customer, the citizens in different kinds of service. The financial service also uh, we have acquired and implemented. As I told you previously, the road fund, the uh, digital ID and different kinds of uh, the financial service. I mean, Government service also implemented financial, so also the international payment, and uh, we have also planned to implement in this year the digital finance service for the customers. So we will join the digital finance service industry. In the logistic, as I told you that uh, we have uh, implemented different kind of service in the digital. I mean, logistic uh, transport, uh, the moving transport, the uh, just the, the what we call it the laboratory goods and service and e-commerce source to the, the our diversified products uh, as you see the our legend uh, air, uh, airplane industry ethiopian airplanes also we our partner to moving uh, every uh, the e-commerce activity and we have uh, held and agree with the memorandum understanding to apply every uh, activity on the e-commerce so in this case, what was the, the digital investment because of uh, the IT investment to capability and to excel our operation? What was the digital uh, investment have been done in our organization? Right. On the digital investment, digital strategy foundation is the very very critical and the first tasks should be done before three years. So the digital strategy documents should be just uh, held on the international consultant. So they just assess the, what we have and the, what they suggest and documented what need to be done on the digital investment. So we should have to get the very agreed documented on the digital strategy to be done on the next 10, the previous three and the next 10 years. So on the digital document, uh, what uh, we have, uh, what should be acquired, what should be done, and uh, why, why, which tasks should be prioritized for the next year, 10 years. So based on this document, we have planned to implement and to support the operational service and uh, to acquire or to gain uh, our uh, revenue and our uh, riches. The other things what we've done in the digital investment, development of new websites. As you know, uh, we have a discussion in detail tomorrow and I will show you some future on our website. We, we should have to rebrand our organizations with uh, digital uh, opportunity and the digital choice. So uh, what we plan is that, that we should have to develop state of art, new website that support the e-commerce, that will support the online services, that support the customer richness and uh, that support the customer the relationships. So in this case, we develop state of art uh, website and uh, we just acquired the uh, dot post the domain from uh, UQ. So what uh, we done in the, the second part of uh, the past three years. The other thing is that the e-commerce and the e-service, as I told you in the, the second point, 
the e-commerce and the e-service uh, is a very cr critical for our organization because as a postal organization, the e-commerce and the, we, we are just uh, good uh, opportunity to uh, implement the e-commerce because uh, they, we have uh, many branches, we have many network in the international, we have uh, many assets on the fleet management, everything. We have, we are capable to uh, apply the e-commerce and we, are, we should have to plan for it, the e-commerce. So we, what we done in the, on the website, we have uh, just designed an e-commerce platform. So we implemented another way that, well, just well, on the going projects are the communicating with the small scale industry enterprises, uh, goods and services as a host to provide, to distribute the e-commerce as uh, e-commerce provider. What about the e-service? Well, we have implemented the e-service activities in the international and uh, local uh, customer on the, our portal. So you can just uh, register our, your request on our website. You can just renewal your the post box uh, renewal, uh, annual renewal, uh, I mean annual renewal and uh, others activity on the e-services. I will just review on the next day about the e-commerce and uh, e-service achievement on the, our digital uh, achievement. On the other parts is utilizing all application developed by U UP. You know, uh, UP is uh, just uh, one of our partners and uh, what they built uh, the postal organization as capable, capable and well-being uh, manner. So in this case, uh, we have uh, developed just, uh, I mean, we collaborate with the UQ to use uh, the application that was developed by UQ. Uh, the other thing is the system integration with the partner, including air, airlines, customs, e-commerce e comp companies, and others, uh, the local companies to just inter exchange the, our data to them for the richest and customer reachability. The other thing what we've done is deploying counter automations and they are also the, our achievements because they, without counter automation, we can't just uh, serve our customer. On the other side, uh, ERP softwares also, uh, our back office softwares to integrate HR, finance, and uh, ma material management system. So uh, our ARP also, uh, our achievement, we have implemented the SAP uh, ARP software for our organizations to manage head office to the 700 uh, branch of the, uh, our country. The other thing is interconnecting, I mean, customer management system also have implemented in this case, uh, we have implemented the state of art, the call center, and uh, interconnecting, I mean, uh, each other with the social media. And uh, we have implemented on our website a chatbot. Uh, so uh, that uh, this is our customer management system uh, achievement. The other thing is interconnecting here partner with branch in different uh, connecting infrastructures, uh, including uh, just implementing the basic data center in a head office and uh, we uh, re connected our branch uh, with the VPN. So uh, we implemented the network infrastructure in our organization and we have started to uh, upgrade state of art uh, data center. Okay, so the digital uh, strategy just I'm um, told you that designed and implemented a digital strategy. In this case, uh, as I told you, we have designed a document and uh, uh, utilized the document as a basic guide area guidance for our IT strategy. I think the, 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 that strategy also designed and including the UQ uh, IT strategy or technology strategy uh, components. So we have uh, implemented time to time because the strategy implementations have been arranged with the prioritized in the manner. So we implemented by that uh, activity. So reorganize the IT system because of uh, the IT system should be capable and uh, reorganized. 
uh, so our uh, higher level managers has decided to reorganize IT teams. Uh, so the, our IT teams have been reorganized with chief level and we have uh, three team leads. The project management, the application management, and network management have been just organized in the structure. Then we have around 30 uh, staffs in different uh, in different uh, professional skills and three or uh, I mean three team leads. So we uh, implemented this structure for the attainment of our. Uh, Missions and vision. The other thing is the design and implement IT resource uh, and usage policy. Uh, of course, the IT should be governed and uh, should be managed by the policies and the usage documents. So we designed and implement the IT policy. So we exercise it and the uh, to reach our uh, service providing internally and externally. The other thing is that. Uh, just uh, developing at the website, as I told you that. On the website projects, as I told you that, the basic thing should be that, that uh, promote our organizations in branding and different opportunity and to utilizing as uh, e-commerce service. So the, the website projects have been the major achievement in our organization. You can just uh, visit uh, www.eto.post uh, and uh, you do have an absolutely good and state of art uh, website. So, uh, besides of that, we just plan to acquire dot post uh, domain, high level domain name. So, as you know, dot, uh, I mean, uh, before the after dot, it's a post because our organization is postal organization. We should have to use the post dot post domain. We you should have to acquire. Dot post domain because uh, the this uh, domain is a very important for our organization, our industry, to be unique, and uh, we we will uh, acquire many instances uh, from the dot post uh, provider and the dot post groups and the UPUs. So it should be uh, one of the plan to use dot post. So so many people say, why not uh, use the dot com? Why not use dot info? What not? such kind of questions were going to arise, but we should have to de just uh, re-view what, uh, what's our standing, what will our existence, because our, our industry is only, uh, not only the commercial, we, we should have to serve community as a postal organization. We should have to su uh, support different kind of things. We should have to just employ, deploy different diversified uh, services. So these kind of uh, dot post domain should have uh, gained. Uh, so uh, it will important for our organizations for the next three uh, or uh, about strategy. So we should have to plan and implement the dot post domain. Uh, so the the previous domains also are just. Uh, redirecting for this domain but, uh, in the security and the hosting also we have done uh, just the securities mechanism with the UPU and the, we implement and we acquire hosting company and the international company so in the near future I think the dot post will acquire the, and uh, implement the hosting service from UPU and we will join them uh, after that we uh, implemented I mean we uh, we just agreed to external hosting provider in the uh, international level. Uh, just in, in, beside of that, uh, the dot post we implemented and uh, the company brand new domain address and uh, corporate email because uh, the corporate email should be just uh, promote our organization as well as it's. Uh, I, I don't want to explain everything, but uh, the corporate uh, email usage and uh, digital co communication. So. When you just re visit on the, our website, at, uh, uh, or uh, our diversification, as I told you, uh, the e-commerce service accessibility have been uh, deployed. So we have uh, just acquired so many 
customers from online, international, basically international. So the international community have uh, just uh, access to buy goods from our, uh, and uh, we will, we, we acquire some revenue from the e-commerce service and accessibility. Online post box service also starting the, the previously, but so online service uh, starting with the digital payment. So no one come to the, uh, our post office physically, they, they can renewal their postal uh, annual service and they can uh, acquire uh, the uh, additional uh, new postal uh, requirement or new postal agreement. Online track and trace also deployed and uh, um, anyone can just track and trace on our uh, website. Online pickup application also deployed. We have deployed on our website, online pickup application, then anyone can serve on the, our website. Online job application and accessibility and opportunity also deployed on our website. Online procurement and the visibility and the other different kind of resource also deployed on the website. As I told you that, uh, customer complex system also deployed, uh, online uh, 700 branch locators. Anyone can find our branch locations with the, his phone or his laptop without any uh, accessibility because we deployed or uh, we designed and as a module to find out where is the, the nearest branch of this uh, accessibility. Uh, the other thing is, uh, most of the time, the customers worry about the, how, many, how much they, they charge. So any customer can just calculate his uh, charge, service charge uh, online. So yeah, it will also deploy on our website. Online staff intranet also deployed. Yeah, our staff anywhere, anywhere place can just uh, enter into the staff portal and access some information from our website. Uh, online philately accessibility, of course, I, as I told you that physically, the uh, philately museum has just uh, implemented in our head office, but uh, the, the far customers can just review our philately accessibility on the website. So, uh, based on that, uh, the, what was the uh, application that, which is developed by the uh, UPU? The first thing is that I told you that the, the dog post, you know, uh, the dog post is uh, that was uh, acquired by the UQ, which is a member of uh, uh, the as a member. We acquired the dog post. Uh, I think the process and the technical parts of that dog post will cover on that tomorrow. But uh, as I am one member of the UQ, we, we got the dog post uh, domain which is implemented dot box domain for the secure e-commerce portal, uh, which is one of our application. As I told, uh, as you know, that CDS customer data service also our uh, basic applications in the, our operational service. Uh, the DPS uh, domestic postal service also have uh, starting to test the implementation, the domestic uh, service, I mean, postal services. So it's also acquired by the UPU. The major application is the international postal system, which is a very, very uh, important software for us to uh, just uh, operationalize our service uh, and uh, to excel our service quality system. So uh, we implemented for the main service operational and the CDS, DPS, IPS exhaustively, exhaustively. So the integration part and the collaboration in, of uh, our systems to the other um, partners, uh, system integration with the domestic and international e-commerce companies, uh, we, including the legend airlines, uh, not in the continent, but also the global legend airlines, European airlines. So uh, we integrate our system, uh, the UQ, the IPS system and uh, uh, domestic with the, the airline system. So we uh, just, uh, smarter our e-commerce and exchange of mails each other. System integration with uh, Post Global and the airlines, are, as I told you, system integration with the UQ applications, IPS as a partner. And we also integrate the international e-commerce e companies, uh, just the, the local companies also integrations have been done. 
and we will also we plan to implement the integration with others to the other company. As I told you that uh, the counter automation also one of our uh, products. So uh, the DPS is our one of the strategy to implement over the 700 and above branches because this is a very important uh, application for Ethiopia. Uh, beside of that, we have also implemented the post-global application, which is uh, used for uh, counter automation. That's uh, some important uh, software for us. The ERP, as I told you, that the financial material HR uh, also managed by the SAP application. So uh, we implemented for the SAP application in the internal process. Uh, we have also planned to implement some features for the SAP application in the near future. So uh, the customer, uh, regarding the customer, we installed uh, the state of art call center. So most of customers now uh, uh, just relief, getting a little relief on the, uh, just requesting some information, uh, providing this, their compliance and every activity should be just implemented on the call center. The, our call center has uh, a, state of art call center so we have planned to just in, renovate the our smarter and very important uh, just technology based uh, call center in the near future so we acquired as i told you that uh, uh post uh, i mean the ETO post also uh, one of uh, future for the customer services so if we implement online customer inquiry chatbot deployed on the website so we, uh, we we can reach our customer with our website so implemented voice of over um, uh, phone also implemented in the uh, here in the head office and uh, uh, in the airlines branch so we can communicate when we can reach with the uh, voice over phone uh, lines and uh, sms service also and the social media channels to be addressed Customer requires implemented email and any support for reaching the customer with digital uh, options. So, in the interconnection, uh, the uh, tasks related on the four, 400 branches connected to the headquarter PC with the VPN and uh, uh, including the, I think, the franchising uh, implemented shared resource domestic coastal applications and RP at the branch level. So, so we should have to reach out to our uh, roll out our uh, centralized system to the branch level. So uh, the previously RP also here in the one uh, one of uh, the head office sort of deployed systems, but uh, it uh, should be deployed uh, now to the branch level and uh, we reached our branch on the GIS address. So, so in this case, in this case, um, what lesson we gained from the past two, three years? Uh, so, in this case, lesson learned from the past dot post and the other, others uh, support and the digitalized uh, journey of uh, ETO post. Uh, the first thing is what we learn is the confirm general directions, which is what we need to be done and uh, what we wish, what we have done. And the way we confirm it, we confirm it. So in the digital priority, and uh, we show prioritized our digitalization service. So the confirm general direction have been done and uh, acquired. The process digitalization and the optimization of uh, business operation also just uh, have been done the counter automation, the system, the core centers, that was our achievement. The shipment, visibility and enable e-commerce service also, our uh, just achievement. So our own marketplace also they are our achievement. The other thing is customized tools and are feasible and so effective. So development of integrations, main application with the domestic applications and the others application also acquired. Focus on business customers also resource, I mean, reach out customers with the online service business to business and business to volume, I mean, which is our achievement. High interest on joint business collaborations have been just uh, increased time to time because our brand have been just promoted. So our diversified different service also uh, promoted. 
It's just that we gained some interested in joint business collaboration have been acquired. So, so what the, our future our future plan? What what should we have to be in the plan to the next level? The first thing is our digital strategy. Ethiopia digital strategy should be one of our basic documents. So. Based on that document, all the organizations should be installed their service, online their service. So as a, one of the designated postal organization in Ethiopia, so we have uh, acquired to digital strategy for the next three years. So we should have planned the digital strategy and designed digital strategy. So in this case, uh, we also include the sustainable goals development and uh, digital economy service, government, digital finance, e-commerce, and digital inclusion for the market also, our digital plan to implement the next three years. Based on digital transformation plan, digital skills, digital infrastructure is our basement and standing point. So in this case, as I told you, our basic programs and uh, basic plans to be done the next three years at the, in the operation levels. E just expanding our e-government services, one of our future, and uh, what we starting for to implement the, the service, digitalized financial service also our uh, thematic area should be rolled out in this uh, strategy. E-commerce also the others very very eager to be plan uh, and expand our service into the country level, also international logistic automation, also others. Uh, future plan to be implemented. So parcel and EMS digitalizations uh, also, uh, we should have to gain some technologies and uh, some uh, automations should be just acquired from uh, locals or international provider to apply and to excel our operational system. Mail service also, uh, digitalized, uh, digitalization of mail service should be just done and will plan to implement for smarter and uh, a very uh, critical and technology oriented service are our next thematic areas to be to make Ethiopian postal service one of the leading po postal service provider and the partner in logistic financial government service achievement of our vision based on the foundation of this services and the thematic area, area will be uh, the our we, our network infrastructure the application development and the integrations and it organization and capacity buildings also uh, the foundation to be uh, get the final destination of our the missions final mission in in in, in case of that uh, we will also future plan to use the dot post applications as uh, we have acquired the domain name and uh, we will also uh, acquire service, uh, I mean, cyber security service and e-learning. We acquired the cyber security service and uh, e-learning time to time. So uh, as, a, as those application and service, we'll just plan to implement the e-commerce service, the secured email service, posting service, what we just uh, waiting for the dot post and the data service also where we will just acquiring from the dot post uh, the dot post security infrastructure the dot post government and uh, com compliance policies also our futures to be just uh, from the upo the uh, dot post group the dot post shared the service also uh, will uh, will acquire and plan to implement on the our uh, operational service uh, so uh, what uh, the operational level uh, service be excelled and our Richest will be achieved to achieve our missions and vision of our organization. I think this is all over about the operational uh, explanation of Ethiopia Post in the little bit uh, way. So uh, this is our my uh, presentation. So any questions and other will come. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Presi and uh, all participants. Thank you very much, Ibrahim, and thanks for a very comprehensive overview of the of your digital journey over the last um, few years. And we really appreciate that um, overview you provided to us. And just to remind our colleagues 
that um, today we are, as I said, we're doing a high level business focused approach. Tomorrow we get to the technical issues, technical questions. We do a deep dive to the technical issues tomorrow. So waiting to see if there are any questions or any, um, any comments, any, any feedback on the overall approach that Ethiopos has taken with their digital journey. Um, and let, I will probably start with the first question, Ibrahim, uh, while we okay. wait for questions coming from the others. So in terms of your, um, your plan to go forward, do you see the, I noticed in one of your early slides, you saw, or you were showing us an increase um, in performance um, of things like EMS, um, your, your ranking on, on, on the various indices that UP produces and so on. Where, does, where do you see Ethio Post um, positioning itself going forward in the future? using digital, do you think that your digital transformation journey will take you, um, you know, maybe even to the top, the world top five or top, you know, or even beyond? And if so, um, exactly how do you think that will happen? And maybe some, some ideas to exactly where, what focus areas that other posts can you know, without giving away too much of your secrets, obviously, but <laughs> but where, where other posts can um, can probably look to focus their energies and their you know what they're trying to do, so they can also um, you know gain some traction in the digital space. Uh, any thoughts on that? Okay, thank you, thank you, Tracy. Uh, as you told that the EMS ranking is increased from time to time, and uh, it could perform a lot of category. In case of the IT digitalizations, uh, yes, we dream to be a uh, top five uh, performer on the, I think, the continent, on the globe. But what, what you should underline that I think the IT investment is very uh, high to, to implement. Every operation should be digitalized and technology-wise operational service. So uh, the our dream should be just one of uh, top five uh, digitalized, organized in the postal service provider in the globe. So that's our dream. So we will just refine and implement so many things and uh, we'll collaborate with the other partners and we will achieve our dream uh, in the near future, I hope. And the other part of the question, um, where, what areas um, do you think posts can focus their energies on? So, um, and, and, and they know that Ethio Post is a pretty large post, right? So I've, yeah. I've been there, so I've seen it myself. So it's a you yeah. know, yeah. very large scale operation. Yeah. Um, but for posts, um, you know, around the world, you know, smaller posts, um, even posts your size, yeah. where do you think they should focus their, their digital our transformation efforts on and do you think um of course i would love to um you know maybe you, you could emphasize the 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 the, the, the focus on e-commerce services and digital services using dot post i know that you talked about that um, and we'll talk about that tomorrow um but in addition to that any areas that you would suggest um that post look to focus on to enhance the efficiencies um <clears throat> you know, get a competitive advantage over not just other posts, but certainly other, um, you know, players in the market who they may be facing competition from, um, you know, without naming any anyone in particular. Um, where do you think uh, posts can can focus their, their attention on in terms of getting a competitive edge? Very nice question. The uh, focus area of, of uh, Ethiopia Post, as I told you previously, we have uh, the first focus area of our organization is the e-commerce. You know, the e-commerce is uh, very uh, critical for today, technological advancement. Without e-commerce, the postal industry is not sustainable. So the e-commerce is one of our, uh, the focus area of uh, 
actual post. The so post office should be just redesigned. Their ability on digitalizations to be uh, supplier on the, to be one of the e-commerce industry on their uh, locations on the existence. The first thing is that. The other thing is on the uh, acquiring the e governmental service, including e-services. You, know? you know, most of uh, the our customer or our partners should want to just reach uh, the their services on the postal service because those postal service are well different parts and the, on their location. So we plan to implement the e-service products. The other thing is the logistic moving product also, our focus area, what we plan to implement is uh, just digitalize the, I mean, the, the digitalized logistic service uh, to acquire and to enhance our uh, revenue, including to satisfy our customer. The other thing is, as uh, you know, the postal service should be just smarter and uh, digitalized uh, to reach our uh, reachability and uh, to satisfy our customer. This is most of our focus area to be done in the near future and uh, most postal designated postal organization should be uh, re-innovate the, their uh, strategy to implement other new business to sustain their exist existence. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much for, for sharing that. Um, and um, there's some follow there, there's some follow questions that have come from the audience. They are actually in the Q and A box, so, and they are related. So I'll pose them both to you. I'll read them out for you, um, Ibrahim. Um, from an anonymous attendee, <clears throat> what is the biggest challenge faced by Ethio Post in digital transformation? And then a second question: Who has helped you the most? in making progress in your digital transformation? Well, thank you very much for the uh, participant uh, to, to write this question. The first thing is uh, to start from the second question, who helped me, uh, helped us uh, for the transformation of digital uh, existence is, the first thing is the our higher officials are the very strong standing on the digital uh, transformation. That's the very cr critical because if uh, the higher officials uh, don't have the digital uh, standing, the organization not be changed or not be transformed. So the, our higher officials has uh, strong standing on the digital, uh, digitalizations and uh, the digital service uh, modality service provider. So that's what the very critical advantage of our, uh, to be here and the digital transformation. The other thing is our digital strategy, 2025 digital strategies, the other guidance. So uh, our government has its own advantage to implement the digital strategy and uh, just evaluate where we are, and where we have been and where we are today. The other part is the UPU. I appreciate the UPU because uh, UPU as uh, one of the organizations that that's, uh, support the, the designated postal countries, uh, postal organizations to sustain their postal services to uh, excel there and to digitalize the, their service. So the postal union support is uh, not just, uh, and just countable, that is very, very high uh, opportunity to give us and uh, digitalize our service including uh, so many applications and uh, dot post. So uh, I appreciate and I thank the UPU uh, organization. That's all that's our support. Uh, the very, the second question is, what's the challenge to digitalize the, our organization? The very, the very critical the, the challenges uh, just acquiring more of uh, the resource to, and the revenue, you know, uh, there's just shortage of uh, finance, you know. You know, most of the time the budget is uh, just limited. So the most of the, the, the designated organizations are uh, served by their revenue. So uh, the digital strategy is challengeable with, the, uh, I think, the budget. 
that's one our challenge. The other challenge is uh, just using the digital services on the customers and the other partner also are one of our challenge, but we promote, we uh, just exercise the, the digital service for the customers. There. So <clears throat> they uh, trying to implement and they trying to utilize the services in the, the beginning and they acquired and achieve the challenge and remove our critical problem. So that was a challenge. Thank you very much. Um, it's good to hear the, um, the fact that I guess the government, and of course the UPU, um, were, were key partners in this this transformational journey yeah. um, that you 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 are you embarked upon. And I think for other posts, that's something that um, is good learning. You know, so yeah. if you're if you're working in, in your in your <clears throat> in your country, um, a key partner. I think this is. For many, you know, not just the post, but for many areas of the digital transformation journey, uh, having um, support from highest levels in, the, in your country, the government level is, is very important to ensuring that that the the, the actors such as the post um, can can play a significant role and also move forward. And of course, as the UPU, we're very proud to um, support you in your journey as well. And you know, we're here to to ensure that all the posts and the entire post sector grows um, and, and moves forward and also can take advantage of the opportunities provided by the digital economy. So there's another question um, coming in. It's uh, from another one of us attendee. It says, it's asking, um, I guess in relation to this whole um, you know, digital space, and again, um, you know, many countries have varying um, levels of infrastructure, critical infrastructure. So they're asking, what is the quality of electricity and connectivity within the Ethio Post network? And I guess that will refer to your over, I mean, your physical network as well as your obviously your virtual network. You know how 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 you know as you move from urban to rural, as you move out out into the um, spaces where. You know things are a little more challenging. How, how good is that quality, and, and I, I guess how impactful would that be in, in this in your digital transformation journey? You know, is it critical? Is it a, is it a, a point of failure? And um, I guess what would you recommend to do if there's any challenges to improve that? Unfortunately, the our most of the branches are around. Uh, mid-level towns, uh, so uh, most of Ethiopian towns have uh, get the 24-hour electric service. In case sometimes, sometimes uh, the, we have also uh, get some challenge on non-electric um, service in towns. So such kind of uh, connectivity have uh, just planned to implement the uh, other kind of service, uh, including the generator and other things. But uh, still now we, we didn't get uh, the electric service and the electric uh, service challenge uh, because Ethiopia is uh, one of the hub of the world uh, in the like continent. So we provide uh, electricity uh, for the only towns. And so uh, that's an uh, electric uh, issue. But uh, to speak frankly, um, some of the our branches has get non-electric cities, so we just find out another options to get electric city, including yeah, so the generator. And the regarding the connectivity, uh, in the previously the connectivity issue have been uh, just then uh, have been getting this such kind of issue. So now uh, we approach uh, and uh, we, we have uh, an options to service provider, uh, the internet service provider. Uh, the uh, uh, Safari come also join the markets and uh, we have uh, options and uh, our provider, legend provider, Retail Telecom uh, also renovate itself and uh, provide us a service uh, as per our request. 
So uh, just uh, uh, just like uh, no more um, connectivity problem, uh, but uh, sometimes it's happened. That was uh, issue. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, I think that's it's it's good to you know. So there's not not everything is all sunshine and and, and roses. Yeah. Right? Yes. So that's good to know that um, you're grappling with them with the same challenges. I think yeah. some of the the posts are grappling with them, but it, but yeah. what's good to know is that um, you know there is a way to, to get around this, and it should not be a showstopper. Um, you yes. know, find ways to, to deal with it. Um, I'm seeing in the chat there some comments coming in. Just to just for the record, just put them into the, the in the verbal record. So As Asafa has um, pointed out that <clears throat> there was recognition of members that achieved the best performance improvement during 2009. And even from even then, these members were Croatia, Ethiopia, and Mexico. That's good information that was pointed out by Asafa. Um, Paul Donahoe, who is a, a very good colleague of ours from the UPU, um, has pointed out, well, he's, asked, he's, he's congratulating you for um, an excellent presentation. Um, he's, he's, quite, he's saying it was very informative and enlightening, and um, he's excited to listen to part two tomorrow. Um, Asafa just put in the chat again um, that, e that EMS Ethiopia was winner of the bronze level award of the EMS Cooperative Performance Award in 2010. Um, so he's, but, but then he asked, what, what happened after that? You know, and the decline was, why was there a decline after that? Because we, you know, you pointed out in the, in the presentation that you, you know, you took it up from, um, from where it was to, you know, to, 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 to good position now or better position now, I presume in, in the near future you'll see even better uh, results. But would you be able to pinpoint what may have happened with the EMS service uh, over the last few years? Why, what happened to it and um, and what exactly is being done to improve it? You know, what, what special measures have you taken to improve the EMS performance uh, over the last few years? Yes, uh, to answer the separate questions, uh, I think uh, the, this kind of, uh, up and down happen, will be happened because uh, so many things. But uh, in case of uh, my presentations, uh, our existence on the international level, not uh, not uh, African level. So in Africa, we are still we are leader in the EMS, and uh, we will promote uh, and will renovate our service quality to uh, to increase our uh, rank to be uh, the good performance in these next yeah. three years, including including the automated uh, transactional service and uh, transport service and uh, deploying the quality of service, will uh, plan to uh, increase and uh, deploy our uh, service to the qualified service of the EMS. So uh, just this is our uh, what we plan in the near future. Thank you. Um, Sri Lanka Post, um, Saman Mali, um, saying greetings from Sri Lanka Post. Thanks for the information. So thank you. Thank Sri you. Lanka thank appreciated you. what you've thank shared. You, thank, you. thank you very much. Thank okay. you. There's a question coming in from Osama Rutavi, and I know Osama uh, very well. He's on a dot post. Um, Group Steering Committee from Tunisia. He's the Vice Chair of the Dot Post Group, actually. Um, Osama's asking, regarding the facilitation of trade between the neighboring countries in the region, um, are there any projects, um, I guess it's, it's, I'll finish the question. Does Ethiopia Post foresee any projects working together with um, neighboring countries in the region? So I notice um, and you, you shared with us uh, when we spoke to you actually um, in Addis um, last year. Um, you know you, your plans to, you know, to to become a hub um, and and sort of facilitate um, you know become the I guess the, the, the main facility of trade 
um, in Africa as a whole, you know, and, and the partnership with Ethiopian Airlines, I think, is, is a clear example of what you're trying to do. Um, but specifically with neighboring countries, do you, are there any specific projects that um, you wish to elaborate on in terms of facilitating cross-border trade it, um, between Ethiopia and any of your neighboring, um, your neighboring countries? Of course, uh, as I told about previously, uh, we have agreed to the memorandum of understanding with the Ethiopian Airlines to just uh, deliver uh, the e-commerce e service and goods. Uh, uh, but in the near future, uh, we plan to collaborate with the intercontinental and uh, global organizations that uh, are related to the coastal and uh, the diversified service, uh, including the e-commerce. So. We have uh, an opportunity, we have a plan, so uh, any uh, firms can reach out uh, with us to work, just work with together. So we have a good opportunity. All right, and you hear that um, colleagues from um, the African continent, you hear Ethiopia is putting out a call to, you know, to reach out to them so if you want to work together on, on you know, facilitating cross-border trade, cross-border e-commerce. And this was an ex excellent, I think, uh, opportunity to reach out and yes, to get some, yes. some, some traction together within, yeah, the, yeah. within the continent. Um, there's just one more comment in the chat. Uh, Zimbabwe is just saying, thanks for a great presentation. So again, just kudos to the presentation so far. Um, Thank you very much. Thank you. There are no more questions in the chat. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to paste into the chat tomorrow's our agenda so that folks can have a look at what we plan. Because Paul sort of gave us, um, Paul Donald gave us a, a, you know, looking forward to tomorrow. So here's what tomorrow will look like for, for those who are um, coming back for the deep dive. So what you saw today again was the business version, the business, the business view. Um, and the operational positioning and exactly why they were doing what they were doing. And um, you know, to some extent, you know, the rationale and the objectives that um, Ethiopia was, had in mind. Tomorrow we will look specifically at exactly, uh, well, some examples, I can't, we can't talk about everything, but certainly a few examples of what they did, especially the one um, utilizing the dot post um, um, platform. So um, I'm excited to hear about that. And as I said, I posted in the chat for those who um, um, would like to know. So feel free to register. We, we have our, uh, maybe May Sam can repost the registration link in the chat for us so that um, for those who have not yet registered for tomorrow's session, um, you can do this, do that. Although I believe your registration link give you registration for both days, just in case, um, just ensure you register for tomorrow. Um, please do register and, and join us again tomorrow at the same time, um, where we'll go into a deep dive on the technical and, you know, basically the, the guts of exactly what was done on a few of the projects that Ethiopos implemented, uh, specifically the dot post initiative. So, um, I don't see any further questions or anything coming back in from colleagues. So I think we can call that a wrap for today. Um, Ibrahim and you know, give back folks about 50 minutes of their time. So we'd like to thank everyone for joining us. Uh, we, we, thank we, you. We really do appreciate your time and your, your participation. Thanks for all your questions. Uh, May some has just placed in the chat the link to register for the webinar for tomorrow. Well, in case you haven't done so as yet, please do register now um, so that you can take a look at uh, our technical deep dive on Ethiopia Post's digital journey. So thank you very much, Ibrahim. Thank you, thank you. Really Tracy, thank you for your participant. We'll yes. see you tomorrow for the uh, technical part of the uh, post. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow at the, at the same time. Thank That's you very right. Much. And we will look forward to seeing all of you and maybe more of you tomorrow. Um, to register and to join us for part two. Um, thanks to all who came today and thanks to the tech team. Thanks to my colleague, Mesam, and all those who joined us today. 
Um, do enjoy the rest of your day or your evening or your night, wherever you are. And um, enjoy. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 And we can stop recording now, um, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, are you still here? T'es toujours là?